Hezekiah received the letter at the hand of the messengers and he read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord. And I love this terminology. He spread it out before the Lord. That's what you and I need to do. When we face an enemy from without, spread it out before the Lord. Say to the Lord, this is what the enemy keeps telling me. This is what the enemy keeps doing. This is what I'm facing. God, I am not going to face it on my own. I'm going to spread it out so that God can have full view of where I'm at. Isn't that what the people did in the 10 cases in the gospel? Remember when they told them to be quiet, the two blind men, be quiet. Blind Bartimaeus, be quiet. You know, Jesus is an important religious, religious figure. He's passing through. You know, shh, be quiet. No, they spread their case out before God. Bartimaeus, man, you know, I love that. I mean, I just love it because I love to remind myself. He's like, Jesus! They told him to shut up and that was his response. What was he doing? Spreading it out. And maybe only 50 people heard me the first time. I'm going to make sure 500 hear me this time. Because, man, I want to be healed. This is a one-time scenario. Who knows if Jesus will ever come this way again? He's a healer. He's the son of David. He's the Messiah. He's the promised one. I don't care who knows. Jesus! I'm the one guy in the crowd. If there's no one else, I'm the one, Jesus. Have mercy on me. That's what Hezekiah did. He went up. He went to his own, his own room, his own house. He got before the Lord, and he spread it out before the Lord, and this is how he prayed. He said, O oh Lord God of Israel, which dwells between the cherubims. Man, I love that. He knew who God was. You are God. Even you alone. You're the God of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. It's good when you pray to start off with who God is. Just remind yourself who God, I mean, he's dwelling between cherubim right now. He doesn't have any problems with kings of Assyria. <laughs> he doesn't have any problems, man. He does, Sennacherib doesn't mean anything to him other than somebody that needs to be dealt with, somebody hopefully that could be saved, right? He's not got any problems, man. He's between cherubim. He's between seraphim. He's between a heavenly host. Who knows? We see through, like I said before, a glass darkly. We don't even know everything on that level. We have glimpses, and Hezekiah used the glimpses that he had to remind God, this is who you are. I'm not trusting in me and my circumstances. I'm trusting in you. 